Welcome back to Brick by Brick. I'm Sam Lyman, and today we will be discussing how to invest in LEGO Star Wars sets ranging from $20 to $30. Over the course of this video, I will first be showing some of the sets I am currently investing in that fall within this price range, then I will be giving some suggestions of sets that you guys should add to your investing portfolios that are within this price range, and then lastly I will be discussing when in the investing process do you want to start buying sets that are this size. Alright, let's get started. So, one set that has been working very well for me is the LEGO General Grievous Combat Speeder. Now this one I got for $16, retail, retailed for $20, and is now worth $75. So these are great investments. Uh, it always helps when there's a cool minifigure, in this case General Grievous. He adds a lot of val value to the set. And I don't recommend buying these right now because they cost a lot and you're probably not going to make a lot of money off of them. But if a set with General Grievous on it in it ever goes on sale, I recommend buying a few of them. Uh, the data shows that you are most likely to make money whenever General Grievous is in a set. Alrighty, so this next one I've had for like two years probably. So the LEGO Star Wars Carbon Freezing Chamber is a great set. Uh, retailed for 25 I got it for 20 it has four minifigures, which is a great value, and it depicts a famous scene from the Star Wars series, so people are going to be able to recognize that and identify, hey, I know that scene, I should buy this Lego set that depicts it. So I recommend buying this. Uh, this one is now worth roughly $70, so I've made pretty good money off of these ones, but I've also waited like two years on this one. so. If you don't want to wait two years, you can earn less money, but the longer you wait with these sets, the more money you'll make, up to a certain extent. Alrighty, so these are some of the sets that you can get on sale on Amazon right now for roughly 20% off, and are going to be a pretty good investment. So uh, to get started, the LEGO Action Battle Endor Assault is going to be a good investment. So this one retails for around $20, and I was able to get it for $16. It should still be around that price on Amazon, depending on when you're watching this video. But uh, this is a good investment, because it comes with the uh, Ewok, which is not found in many sets in this LEGO series. So this one is most likely going to be a good investment, especially because it depicts a scene for one of the original Star Wars movies. So along similar lines, the LEGO uh, Hoth Generator Battle Pack thing, or battle, is a good investment. It has the same amount of minifigures, has these cool Lego cannon things, and between these two sets though, I recommend buying the Endor ones, just because that of that Ewok minifigure, because these two minifigures are good, but they're pretty common minifigures throughout the Lego Star Wars series. So if you only have enough money to get uh, one of these two, I recommend getting the LEGO Endor one. So when do you want to start buying these sets? So when I first started my investing, LEGO investing career, I started off buying mostly the cheap sets. So I bought a few battle packs, maybe one or two of these $30 sets, $20 to $30 sets. And, but once you're able to make more money, um, once you're able to put more money into the business, I recommend putting a good chunk of that money into these $20 to $30 sets, especially when you're just getting started. Uh, once you're able to make more and more money, you can start buying the $60 to $150 sets. But these ones are great investments. You're not going to need to sell them off as often and as quickly as LEGO Battle Packs, but they're going to increase in value the longer you wait, the l more money you're going to make. So if you're, ever, if you're able to buy these sets, I recommend getting them they're most likely to be a good uh, Lego investment and a good addition to your collection. So thank you, this has been Brick by Brick, and if you guys have any questions about Lego investing or maybe even particular sets, feel free to leave them in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.